Hey y'all, it's gorgeous outside, so we're making cheesesteaks on the Blackstone. Here's what you'll need. Thinly sliced sirloin beef. We like the H-E-B brand, but any very thinly sliced beef will work. You can't make a proper cheesesteak without some white American cheese. If you want to use Cheese Whiz, you have to get Kraft. Don't waste your taste buds on any other brand. Now don't come at me for using Yellow American. I couldn't find any white American non-dairy. If you know of a good one, please let me know. Now we're going to make some fried onions to go right on top. The Blackstone is nice and hot, so we're going to throw our chunky onions with a little bit of vegetable oil and get those babies cooked up real nice. After a few minutes, squirt a little water on top and cover it with a lid. That way they'll be nice and soft when your steaks are done. Now it's time for the star of the show. Be sure to throw down some oil before so that your steaks don't stick. Cheese steaks was one of our favorite things to eat when we used to live in Philly. If y'all are ever out there, you gotta hit up Jim's on South Street. They do not disappoint. Let these steaks sit for a minute to sear before you flip them. It doesn't take long at all for them to soften up. This is exactly what you want them to look like. Give them another nice little flip and make sure that they're all cooked evenly. At this point, we just mix everything together to make sure everything is cooked properly. Doing it this way makes it easier to chop everything up real nice and small. Now that everything's cooked, we'll go ahead and add a little salt to taste and get ready for our cheese and bolillo rolls, or Italian rolls, or hoagie rolls. It's all pretty much the same thing. If you have them around, Amoroso rolls are definitely the authentic roll to use. After dividing our steaks, we'll lay down our cheese oh so carefully. The best cheeses to use back when I was able to eat dairy, Kraft Cheese Whiz, number one. White American, very close number two. Provolone, never tried it, but it was popular. Let your cheese melt for a minute and then you'll take your hoagie roll, open it up, and lay it flat on top. This gives the roll some time to soften up before you scoop everything up. Carefully slide your spatula underneath. One, two, three, and just flip it right over. Just be really careful not to burn your hand during this part. Just a little bit of practice and you'll be making cheesesteaks like a pro. You don't need a Blackstone griddle to be able to make cheesesteaks. You can absolutely make these inside on your stove. Don't forget to top it off with your fried onions. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Make sure everyone gets some of these fried onions. That's what helps make a cheesesteak so good. Some people like to put all kinds of condiments or other veggies on them. We just keep it simple, meat, cheese, and fried onions. And there you have it, cheesesteaks made simple. I hope you enjoyed cooking with cariño.